the last video we talked about getting each of the pieces covered in the Codex Grey over the black undercoat. And the Codex Grey covering was meant to be you know, quite high, probably like 80-85% of the surface of the piece now is covered in the Codex Grey. With the black just being in the recesses and these, uh, you know, these, these sort of depressions on the pieces here. The next step now I've already started, which is to start covering the pieces in the Fortress Grey, our mid-tone. And you can see there's quite a marked difference between the Codex Grey and the Fortress Grey. It's easy, if you're just doing single pieces, it's easy to almost get beguiled by the amount of colour you've put on or, uh, you know, kind of miss, oops, I missed a piece there, uh, miss, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the coverage uh, that you need to, be, need to be putting on there. So it's good to do them all in one piece like this and you can start to see the transition. You remember, I keep this reference piece so I know exactly where I'm going. So I can tell that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty where we, are, where we need to be. When I put the next layer on the Astronomicon Grey, I can see that I'm pretty confident these pieces will get to this level then. And I can do some super highlights with the white if I want to. So good reference, uh, good idea to keep a reference there. So what I'm doing now is just going through each of the pieces. These are the steps. I took some time to cut the steps out for all the pieces the other day, but I'll cover that in the next video. So I'm taking the time now to go through everything that I've got covered in the Codex Grey and get the uh, Fortress Grey uh, coat on there now. Remember the Fortress Grey should be slightly less. We can see that you know, we've got this uh, black in the darker, darker recesses. We've got the Codex Grey sat under here in these uh, depressions here with the Fortress Grey now over the top. So we've already got you know, a good three colour coating on there. Um, so we start to get some, you know, some really good, uh, sort of good texture to the pieces. So next step, Fortress Grey. Get the Fortress Grey on there and cover it something like 60-70%, you know, roughly, less than the Codex Grey. Um, Obviously, uh, <laughs> that's it. Let's get on and do some painting.
If you look at these pieces now, you can see the front two rows have been highlighted with the Astronomicon grey. And you know these back two or three rows still need to be done. So this is a slight difference now that we'll see. Remember that the fortress grey is the main colour of the of the stonework, and you know the black and the codex grey are really the you know sublayers to give us that depth of colour. On top of that, then we're going to put a, a very light dry brush of Astronomicon grey. The Astronomicon grey will lift the overall shade of colour, but it's primarily lifting out bits of detail like you can see on here and sort of edge detail here. It's going to be different because you know we're working with this type of material so the highlights will be different but that's what we'll see. We'll shift from this colour to this colour at which point we're done. So now that we've finished painting this is what we've got. Our Temple is complete here. You can see each of the pieces on it. Remember that this layer and this layer can be removed. All of the steps, by the way, they haven't, they're not fixed down yet. But we'll have a think about how we can secure those later. So we've got all of our pieces, except now the diadem, which we'll go through cutting and uh, putting sigils on and so on. We've got each of these small pillars to do here. We want these little snake statues that we put on the design. They all still need to be done. The house, I've started to work on things like door design and so on, so we can have a look at that uh, again in the sort of next couple of videos. Uh, I've got a few ideas for sort of decorating these buildings and making them a bit more interesting. We also need to do the pool. Now, I've not actually painted the pool, you can probably just about tell the difference between the pieces. Um, I've done the steps, of course, because I've done the steps on everything now. But we want to cut the pool out, we want to create a water effect, and we want to decorate the pool as the centrepiece of the village here. What else have we got to do? So houses, the back, the diadem, obviously the pillars, the diadem. Uh, oh, we need to think about some altars for the top of here. Uh, that would be interesting, maybe get a couple of those. Do the pool and the wall. But I think if you've done this by now, you can probably do a wall. But we'll run through it anyway and have a look. So that's what we've got now. Looking pretty good.